Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, County Executive Polenkars, uh, in your uh, introductory information, you said that the Erie County budget is $1.8 billion annually, 87% of which is unreimbursed New York State mandated spending. Uh, New York is one of only a handful of states that require counties to provide a local match, which eats up a significant portion of your uh, revenue base. Um, despite this, you have become a national leader on efforts to combat opioid addiction and its associated deaths. Um, while this is a continuing battle, continuing struggle, what is it that Erie County has done under your leadership to achieve uh, results that make Erie County and their efforts to combat opioid addiction an outlier? Well, thank you, Congressman Higgins, for, for those kind remarks. Uh, when we started realizing we had a significant crisis at the end of 2015, uh, I brought together my health commissioner, mental health commissioner, to co-chair a task force, like many other communities have done with task forces. But I told them to try everything and anything. Uh, I looked at dealing with the opiate epidemic because it was so widespread. It was affecting individuals in the city of Buffalo just as much as it was affecting individuals in the town of Concord and Sardinia, which are your rural communities, or some of our rural communities. And I, I tried, and in the back of my mind, I thought of what FDR did when he entered the Great Depression, which is try something, try everything, try anything. If it doesn't work, move it to the side, try again. So I've had the pleasure to work with also partners from across the country through the National Association of Counties uh, to basically share information. Uh, I, this is not a partisan issue. We've, we've come together uh, as Democrats and Republicans to address the opiate epidemic, and what we found out is there's no one answer. It's, it's about education. It's about uh, medication-assisted treatment and in ensuring you have more treatment availability. Uh, it's about uh, changing prescriber guidelines. It's about uh, getting people when they're young, because unfortunately a number of the individuals who are dying are teenagers, and they became addicted at very young ages, which you would hope never happens, but does. But it literally was, we have to try everything. If it doesn't work, toss it aside, try something else. But by all means, as FDR said, try something. And as a result, we've had significant success, but we would not have had that success without the assistance from the federal government of grants that we've received from the Department of Justice, Department of Health and Human Services, uh, because they gave us the opportunity to try some of those things that I would not have otherwise. I would not have had the local dollars to do it if I had not received the grant opportunities from the federal government to do an opiate court. Everyone here is a drug court. but We're doing a specialized opiate court in the city of Buffalo in which the judge or the judge's staff meets with the individual on a daily basis, as compared to most drug courts where they may meet with them on a monthly basis. We would have not been able to do that without the assistance we received from the Department of Justice's Bureau of Justice Assistance, and I thank you for helping procure that grant, which has shown tremendous success, especially when you compare it to traditional drug courts where the individual may meet with the judge or the judge's assistance monthly. Uh, it has had a tremendous success. Uh, every death is one death too many, uh, and I've had to attend too many funerals during my uh, tenure as county executive or wakes for individuals who died, including people that I know. Uh, but what we've done is we've said we're going to continue to fight this until there is no longer an epidemic. Uh, we've rolled up our sleeves. We work with our partners. It really doesn't matter what your political party is. All that matters is are you willing to help? And if you are, can you make a difference? And that's why our community has come together to address it. And I'm proud to say that our overdoses are down. Our deaths are substantially down more people in treatment, and less people are becoming addicted in the first place. And that's how you're going to end this crisis in the long run, by ensuring that less people are addicted in the first place. And a lot of the assistance we receive from the federal government has made the difference. Just a final thought on the issue of